In this video, we will be going over how to connect a generator to your home. You can do it two different ways. We'll show you the first one, the power inlet box. This is a great option, but it must be installed with an interlock kit. Why? Because the interlock kit prevents back feeding, which is crucial for protecting our linemen working on the power lines. Installing the interlock kit is pretty straightforward. It ensures that the main breaker and the generator breaker can't be on at the same time, preventing any dangerous back feed. Once everything is set up, just plug your generator into the power inlet box and you're good to go. The second method is using a transfer switch. Unlike the power inlet box, a transfer switch is designed to automatically prevent back feeding, so no interlock kit is needed. Installing a transfer switch involves connecting it to your main electrical panel and selecting which circuits you want to power during an outage. It's a bit more involved, but offers a seamless transition between utility and generator power. With the transfer switch installed, you can easily switch to generator power without worrying about backfeeding. It's a safe and efficient way to keep your home powered up. The power inlet box with an interlock kit is generally less expensive, especially if you opt for a manual transfer switch. However, an automatic transfer switch, while more costly, offers greater convenience and safety. So there you have it. Two reliable ways to connect your generator. A power inlet box with an interlock kit and a transfer switch. Stay safe and keep the power on.